Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got something different for you. We've got a behind the scenes actually of a video that we're doing for D10 Yam Daniel um, on his channel. We're doing a review of the RS5, two separate ones. Um, so we're doing one which is kind of like a walk around, similar to what we've done for the C43 video. If you guys haven't seen that, book, 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 it should be somewhere there on the screen. And second of all, it's going to be a drive in the RS5 video. Again, similar to what we've done in the C43. Um, that is going to be here, book, 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 somewhere on the screen. So make sure you go check that out. Um, so we're doing both of those videos, but those videos are going to be for Daniel's channel and we're just filming the behind the scenes. There is the possibility, because it's quite dark, that we might do only one of the videos today and, and um, the driving video on a separate day. Um, so if we do, so be it. The driving video will be kind of, you know, GoPro-ish anyway, so it's kind of different. But regardless, nonetheless, make sure you lot like, subscribe, make sure you lot stay tuned for the video um, and yeah, let's see what happens. The car park now, this one right here, the one in Mayfair, um, the one in Mayfair, the one in Park Lane, um, one of the best car parks in terms of actual cars that you'll find in there. But it's also one of the most expensive car parks in terms of what you'll see come out your bank account. So, you know what I'm saying? Risk or reward, isn't it? Gated in that, bro. Gated, proper things, bro. And I like this bit because you can blow down here, innit? And the C43 sounds crazy. Yeah, ready, bro. Let's have some. Donny Pot right at the bay, yeah. Look, this is the bay right here. Cause he saw he saw fam seven pounds fifty an hour and his head started to bust. So he parked there and he's gone and caught fam. He's just caught. He's hard still. Reserved area, you know. I'm gonna go to reserved area. Oh, you see the Ferrari that was Oh my days, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. That's yeah. an AMG GT getting rebuilt. Why would you come this way? Don't do that. AMG GT four door coupe. Uh, is that what you call it? AMG GT four door? Yeah, that's what you call it. It's a long name. Um, fully a V8, fully a V8 by turbo. Looks like it's being rebuilt. Don't know what they're doing there. And then we've got a Porsche 911 992. I believe that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Bro, the Porsches are so techy to get right. There's so many of them. Look at that, man. <gasps> oh my days, I love the green, bro. I love it. It's in the bar plates. This is the AMG GT. So essentially, the one that we just saw is the four door version of this. Mm. How? Well, I don't really know. But this is brazy. Um, and this is in green. This paint is about 11 bags. You know that? And the paint is about 11 bags. It's satin green paint. So like, this is factory. It's about 11 bags still. It's mad. Obviously, you can't forget the Continental. Another Continental. Obviously, oh, another Continental. What's that? Lambo. This is a Hurricane Lambo. Evo. Yeah, you can tell this is a. But why is it on the 62 plate if it's an Evo? Evo. <gasps> it's not an Evo. What? It's not a Hurricane Evo. This is a Gallardo. This is one of the original Gallardos. And it might even. It's not Speciale, but it's definitely an original Gallardo. That is an original Gallardo, bro. That is a very rare car. And this, this is one that I've had in my collection. Bentayga, not a huge fan of it. Um, G-Wagon, Daniel just told me that he's got one in Dubai. It drives like a, uh, what do you say, a brick. So don't think that's a good car. <laughs> it drives like a brick. Yeah, bro. Now, this is arguably one of the most luxurious cars around. I don't know if you can see just how big this is. That's massive. Look at the, the front of it. It's massive in comparison to this. It's like it's bigger than this car, just the bonnet. Mm. This is a Phantom 68 plate. Um, 300k for that, nice and simple. Oh my God. <gasps> They got a GT2 RS. Don't say this is theirs. Oh, you saying good? Oh, yeah. I know it's bad. <laughs> They're brand new as well. <laughs> Which one is yours? Huh? Which one is yours? <laughs> it's a beautiful GT2 RS on three arcs. Beautiful still. You probably not lying, you know that. Yeah. The GT3 RS. That's a crazy car. Hopefully, if them are 
Vehicle, we'll go and take a look at that in a second. Mm. C63 S there, looks like it's on the bar plates. Oh, no, uh, Bentley Bentayga over there. McLaren Crazy. Ahead. This is a McLaren, that's probably a McLaren, what would I say that is? 570, maybe? Maybe a 570? Oh, it feels very sticky. Um, Ferrari GTC for Lusso. Uh, the brakes are really killing us though. Rolls Royce Cullinan, the big thing, cream seats, bro. You know, just to get a double R on, this, um, on the seat here, yeah, is an optional extra. Cost money. It's one of my favorite cars as well. This is one that would be in my collection. A 911 Turbo S. Oh, ridiculously fast, ridiculously fast. So the new, the one that's on car wire right now, that's always winning, yeah, the quarter mile races is the new version of this, but I prefer this one. Mm. Um, what's this? This is a DB11. Yeah, Aston Martin DB11. That's probably an old Aston Martin there. That's probably worth more than most of the cars in, in here. I don't know what it is, um, but it's mm. probably worth more. It's got an Urus there with a the red, two-tone red on the inside. This is the old Phantom. So look how much smaller it is, bro, from what we just saw. Do you see it? what I mean? Mm. It's so much smaller, bro. That's the old Phantom. There's a Phantom underneath there as well, so old one you can tell about how small it is. This is another Cullinan 71 plate. 71 plate Cullinan. V12 Ferrari F12. Six point three liter naturally aspirated V12 engine by Ferrari. Now this is another car I'd have in my collection. Um, Ferrari California, convertible Ferrari, um, front engine. Um, Baby, basically, it's the baby version of the F12, essentially. Mm. Um, I think it's a four liter in there. Beautiful car. That is essentially the Portofino. You see the Portofino that um, Paul had? Yeah. Yeah. He's got the new version of that car. That's the old version. Oh, okay. But I prefer the old version of the cars for some reason, bro. You already know me, man. I like the older yeah, you like older. Modern classics. Um, this is one of the best sounding cars um, to, known to mankind. This is a Maserati Gran Turismo. One of the best sounding cars, again, 62 plate, the old cars sound beautiful. One of the best sounding cars. I'm telling you that, honestly, one of the best sounding cars, bro. Superb. Uh, that looks like a standard Bentley Continental underneath there. Old Phantom still. Oh. Cool. What's next? Sir? I'm not sure. Um, so this is a Ferrari 488. I, oh, is that a Speciale? Wait a second. Is this a Speciale? It is. You can tell by the straps. This is a Ferrari 488 Speciale. Very, very rare car. Very rare car. Probably about 300k as well. 458 uh, Ferrari. Mercedes SLS is my pinnacle. Ooh. Cream of the crop. Again, we've got a 911 Turbo S here. Uh, what, what are these cars? That is a... What is this one? That's that Ferrari is. they are. That's a Ferrari 488. It might even be a Speciale or a Pista as well. This is probably a, a F12 underneath there. It's probably an F12 there. Oh yeah, it is F12, it says F12 number. You know, rich make things easy for people, isn't it? Um, this looks like one of the old Aston Martins, you know? Very old Aston Martin. I think, I think some of these cars there, these vintage ones are probably worth more than some of these cars we've seen, you know? I think it's a shame that we don't know what they are to appreciate them. Mm. And then I think we need to get another video um, for Daniel's channel as well, which is going to be me driving the Audi RS5, pushing it to the map, pedal to the metal, pedal to the metal, so that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, man, it's been calm. We've come to a nice car park, seen some good cars, big color in there. Obviously, we've had the car, we've got the car for a few more days as well. It is a beautiful daily car, I'll be so honest with you, it is a beautiful daily. I wouldn't take it over the C43. Um, because I think it lacks personality, I think it lacks a bit of character. It lacks rawness. So my boy said rawness, it lacks it. Yeah? And I need some rawness, you know what I'm saying? Something a bit more dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
it's a good car, it's a good day, it's really a good day still. So, um, and it does everything the way it's supposed to do it, and it does it properly. Mm. So, let's go pay this 50 pound for this ticket, for getting into the car park, mate. Um, let's head back to ends. The um, Porsche GT3 RS roll cage. This car went around the Nurbo ring so fast. That's why it's got Nurbo ring track on the, um, I don't know if you can kind of see it on the, the head of the seats. It's also on the back of the spoiler as well, where it says like that German word, but I'm not even trying to say it. Mm. That looks like that 1,000 horsepower Jeep. I don't know if it is. What, the track walk? Yeah, track, track walk. Right here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that is the track walk. Yeah, SRT. Yeah, SRT track walk. Yeah, that's the track walk, yeah. It's a Cherokee. 1,000 brake horsepower. 1,000 brake horsepower. Hell, okay, some track hawks. Could you imagine, bro, spinning up the cruise and that? That will be. Wow. Yeah. Bad. Bentig. Bentig off. Colin in here with a number plate that only has numbers. Somebody, please, in the comments, tell me how is it possible? How do you get number plates that only have numbers? I mean, it does make sense. A number plate should only have numbers because it's a number plate, but you know, that's not how it works. Um, this is another card that I'd have in my collection. This is an Aston Martin DBS. Yeah, this is the James Bond car for anyone that don't know, innit? This is it. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. Love this car. Um, and it sounds unbelievable. I believe it's a naturally aspirated V12 in there. Um, this is obviously the Aston Martin Vantage, which is like the smaller little brother. Um, I did like that car for a minute. The Aston Vantage, yeah? Yeah, but this is a, dead. So look at the difference in this. This is the Ghost, yeah, Rolls Royce. And this is a new Ghost. This is a, is this a new Phantom? No, this isn't a new one, but this is a Phantom, yeah. And just look at the difference in size. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot bigger. Um, and then you've got obviously a Bentley here, which is a beautiful Bentley, by the way. And then you've got Maybach, which is another one which is you know top of the game when it comes to um, luxury cars. Mm. Superb, superb car that is there. Um, so yeah, man, this is Jaguars. We're not even gonna look at those normal cars. And a Ferrari GT4 Lusso again with somebody stealing all of his parts. <laughs> Their catalytic converters and stuff. There's teeth in them. All right, all right, the brakes are so squeaky in this, and you wouldn't believe it if I told you that the brakes are new. You wouldn't believe it, would you? I wouldn't believe it. Damn. Audi R8, it don't look as good as Daniel's. I'd be so real. Everybody wants to know. It's an 18 pick, which is also the new shit. If I didn't win, I guess we'll never know. College dropout, welcome to my graduation Fuck a form, late to registration Knew that I'd be famous, wrote my signature a hundred times All in my plan, I'm stuck inside my mind Bars incarcerated, trapped in my town Ain't no celebrity, get me out Travis Scott staring at the stars Gets me now, hate me cause I'm brown They hate me cause I'm dead Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, number play Oh my gosh Oh my god! Oh my days, bro! Oh my days, bro! Oh my days, bro! Oh my days, bro! Oh, Y'all see that? Oh, look how everyone's faces! Look at them! Look where they're looking! Oh my days, bro! 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 Oh my days! Yo. Are you from this? Oh my days! Oh my days! Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? You don't even know. Oh, hey, where's my phone? 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 I did call YouTube. I did yeah. YouTube records. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I know your son. Is that your son? Yeah, I know him still. Yeah, I see you. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my days, bro. Oh my days, bro. Oh my days, bro. That's Alfie Best, bro. 
Bro, you man hearing that? This is shit, fam. <laughs> hey, this car's dead, bro. Hey, that, that is heartbreaking still. Yeah, we've been, this look at the tyres. Look how wide the tyres are. Oh, look at them. This is the first time ever, bro. First time ever. Dumb cab, move up. Aye, viewers, your boy is speechless. I apologize if it's dark. Um, yeah, I apologize if it's dark because it's dark, innit? I can't do nothing about it. Man just drove past a Chiron, yeah? But you know man had to on-site the driver, bro. Man had to talk to him, bro. Man had to see what he was saying. So, um, Alfie Best Senior was the driver. We had a little quick chat. Hey, bro. Actually, no, I'm gonna speak respectfully. Alfie, if you're watching, yeah, I appreciate that, that little 30 second convo. Inspiration, inspiration still. And the car, superb, so superb. The boy is literally like head spinning, bro. The car was. Bro, what would you guys say? Like, like tell, what would you say, bro? Man, speechless. Elegant, bro. Elegant. The tyres were wide. I've never seen a Bugatti Chiron in person driving. I've never seen a Bugatti at all in person driving. I've seen one parked up and even that looked monstrous. But the size of it, you don't get a, a, a true image. Uh, you don't get a true image of how big that car is like from like pictures and stuff. The car is a monster and it sounds monstrous as well. Um, what a car, man. What, what do you say? He said, no, I just said, I said, was, I said, was lovely to see you. Um, and I said, thanks for stopping and speaking. It was very inspirational. And he said, all right, it's a pleasure. Oh! I right, bet. So now we've got to be smart. Let's see.